Begin by hovering over the program icon on the top menu, then click template. You should now see two pre-developed templates under the system template section. If you want to display one video or image at a time, then these templates are all you need. If you want to create different zones for different media, displaying live web pages, add scrolling text or RSS feeds, add a logo, add time and date, you must create your own template. The following example is for a template that includes all of the elements you can select. However, none of them are essential as long as you have one video zone, which can also house images. To create your own template, begin by clicking Use a Template, and then clicking on the New button. A new template box will now appear. Give your template a name and choose a resolution. If you're creating a portrait template, then select vertical. If you're creating a landscape template, then select horizontal. Once you've done this, click OK. Please make sure that the resolution of your template matches the screen mode that has been set on your screen. You'll now see a template design interface and can begin laying out the different zones for your media. Your template can have a background that you can see underneath and between the media zones. It can either be a previously uploaded image or a colour. This is not an essential element but can be used to give your content corporate branding. Whether you want an image or a colour as your background, begin by clicking the background option from the interface's side menu. A message will appear asking if you wish to set an image as a background. If you click yes, you will be redirected to a list of your uploaded images. You can also upload a new image by clicking the upload button. Select the image you wish to use as a background, then click OK. Your image will now appear as your background. You can now add media zones on top of it. If you want to set a colour as a background, click no when asked if you would like to set an image as a background. Then click anywhere on the black background area and a colour field will now appear. Click this to select a colour from the palette or enter your own hex code. Once you are happy with your background colour, you can now move on to the next step of adding media zones. Your template must include a video zone. These can display either videos or images. Video, image and web page zones cannot overlap. You can only have one video zone per template. This is to avoid complicated content with conflicting motion and sound. Video zones can display both video and image files and can be set to any size. Begin by clicking on the video option from your interface's side menu. A media zone will now appear in your template preview. Your next step is to size and position your video zone. You can do this manually by clicking on the zone and dragging out the frame handles. You can also size and position your zones more accurately by entering values into the input area on the right hand side of the interface. In this example the video zone has been resized both vertically and horizontally by 80% of the total layout. As long as the video aspect ratio is 16 by 9, like the screen, it will display without any distortion. The position of the zone can also be inputted here, either in pixels or percentage of the overall template. To delete this or any other zone, simply right click with your mouse and click delete, or click the cross in the top right hand corner of the zone. You can add up to four image zones of any size to your template. Begin by clicking on the image option from the interface's side menu. A new media zone will now appear in your template preview. You can size and position your image zones in the same way as your video zone, by clicking on the zone and dragging out the frame handles, or by entering the values into the input area on the right hand side of the interface. Once you are happy with your first image zone, you can add another by clicking on the image option from the interface's side menu again. You can add one scrolling text area to your template. This can display a manually inputted message or an RSS feed. Here you are just setting the zone size. When you create your playlist you can set and define other settings such as scroll direction, font size and colour. Begin by clicking on the text option from the interface's side menu and a new media zone will appear in your template preview. You can size and position this zone in the same way as your image and video zones by clicking and dragging out the frame handles or by entering the values into the input area on the right hand side of the interface. In addition to your other media zones, you can add one logo area to your template. This zone has a maximum size restriction of 256 by 256 pixels. It is ideal for branding as it will always stay on top of your other zones, meaning it will always be seen. Begin by clicking on the logo option from the interface's side menu. 
You will be redirected to a list of your uploaded images. If you haven't previously uploaded your logo, you can do so by clicking the upload button here. Select the image you wish to use as your logo, then click OK. Your image will now appear in your logo zone. You can set the size based on the original file dimensions. In addition to your media zones, you can add the time and date to your template. To add the date, begin by clicking the date option from the interface's side menu. A new zone containing the date will now appear. Please reposition this where you want the date to appear on your template. In the same way, to add the time, begin by clicking time from the interface's side menu. A new zone will now appear containing the time. Please reposition this where you want the time to appear on your template. These zones cannot be resized, however you can set the style, colour and font size for both. These zones will also stay on top of all your other zones, meaning they will always be seen. You can also display a web page as part of your layout or in full screen. You can size and position this zone in the same way you would an image or video zone. Once you have finished adding all the media zones that you want to include, you can now save your template by clicking the Save button. You will now see a list of templates you have created.